opened in 2006 to her at beautiful Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the Philadelphia Phillies and the St. Louis Cardinals. And now, Alongside Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and guys, the Cards have really St. taken Louis care of their Cardinals. rivals in this series so far, looking for the sweep here today. And they look pretty good today. They look pretty loose out there taking batting practice and their ground balls prior to this one taking place. Got to feel confident after taking the first three games of this series that this team is certainly focused and ready to steal this four game sweep. Miles Michaelis is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. The batter will be Shane Victorino. Leading he will the lead this one off today. The left fielder, Shane Victorino. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Edmund ranging into the outfield. He's there and records the first down. That second. The Time second now for a glance at the Phillies Jeez. batting order in this one. Super Dan who do we keep an eye on. Look, man, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. Gene Segura standing in as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. Dan Dero, we take a look at this Cardinals ball club as they enter play this afternoon. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, this should be an interesting watch today because this team's playing well, all facets of the game. But they're facing no an ace on the other right. side today, and they're going to have to jump on him early if they're going to have any chance. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Maddie. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty nope. much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. That is third. The third baseman, Mike Schmidt. Up next, Mike Schmidt. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, that's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. If you can command that with movement, it's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Long run for the right fielder. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first that inning, is. even with two outs. Right now your cleanup three. man steps to the plate right. and has a chance to drive in the Perfect. first run of the game. Here's Bryce Harper now as he takes a fastball oh, off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Oh, hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two-out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. Two and one, here it is. Three ball. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. 
the three and one pitch. It's a good swing by Harper, but this will drift foul off to the right and out of play. Here's the payoff pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Two out double left stranded. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Robin Roberts gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may Leading see some hit and run. Target. We may see some bunting. And we may see some okay. running. Because if you want to lay around and try to get yeah. hits off this guy, that's not the right thing to do. One of the top pitchers in the game right now. Dan Dero, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five-game slide. The 0-1 delivery. Off, Off the, the plate, plate one ball, one strike. Roberts is up over 4,500 innings of work in his long career. And through those innings, he's worked to a whip under 1.20. League average is around 1.3, so that's a respectable number. There's a shot out to right center field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Arms pumping. He's hustling for third. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. Talk about auspicious beginnings. That That's the way to start at any folks. Here. Drives it into the gap at right center. And you Bro. see when it rolls to the wall, he puts it into another gear and legs out a triple. There are a lot of ways to score from third with no outs. Into the box now, Lou Brock. One out. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now the one zero. -oh. Okay. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it. You're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here. They strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. Stepping in now, Michael hey. Lee, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. That average for him sitting at 345. Five homers, 18 driven in. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Oh, one, here's the pitch. No, it's Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Down one low, strike. two balls and a strike. Brock aboard here at first with nobody out. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner getting the scoring position. That keeps the double play in order, which they need, seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning. 
And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. 3 2. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. And another foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are cool. created equal. The right there, baseman. he goes down on strikes, Four. but he really Big made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. At the plate, Mark McGuire, nope. as the first Outside. pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And he oh, falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Now the 2-0 oh home. Ball three. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3 0. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting blocks here in the first, giving up a couple of base knocks on that walk. First innings are often some of the toughest for a starting pitcher. Next, it'll be Yadier Molina. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. First pitch on its way as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. Ball and a strike. Hey, be on the lookout right here. Usually when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking, now he'll try and throw it in the dirt, get you to fish a little bit. I want to see where he goes here. Hit in the air to center field. McCutcheon is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. He's got a five-game hitting streak going. If you've got to start those big streaks somewhere, I like the way he's swinging the bat right now. Great approach, very comfortable. Let's see if that streak continues today. At the plate now, Tyler O'Neill as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Bounce towards the second baseman. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. Two hits here in the inning lead to a run for the Redbirds. Second inning set to go, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Andrew McCutcheon. 
Here's the first pitch to him. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. The ball. Here's the fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Today's ball game provides the Cardinals with a chance to end the series on a really high note, of course. A win will complete the sweep. One of the toughest things to do in baseball is to sweep a series. A three-game series is tough, but they have a chance with a win today to do something really special, and that would be a sweep of a four-game set at home. So here's how the Cardinals are positioned defensively. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five, fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning, keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. So now to the plate, JT Real Muto. And hey. he'll take strike one on the inside corner. The Cardinals had a lot of success at the plate yesterday, a double digit hit total as a team, so they'd like to make that happen again as they go for the sweep. It's very difficult to sweep teams nowadays, but jumping out to an early one run lead like they have in this one, they're certainly headed in the right direction. Real Muto takes the swings from the right handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. Stepping in next, Jimmy Rollins. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. hey, boys, he's lucky he's getting this pitch back right here. That's normally a wipeout pitch down and away. He hung that one. They look like he almost confused the, the hitter. Ball one. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a 1 0 lead. No, no offer down. on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Block waits on it. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. It remains 1-0. That'll bring in Nolan Arenado. He comes into Fort this Lake one with Lake. three hits in 11 at bats in the series. Nolan Arenado. And now the first pitch. Hard liner to center field. McCutcheon is right there, one down. Batting it. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And guys, when I've been looking at the numbers on this starting pitcher, what really jumps out on me is the fact that he doesn't strike a ton of guys out, which means he's got to execute. He's got to use those 17 inches in, out, up, and down. He's going to have his defense behind them, and they better be on their toes because a lot of balls are going to be put in play in this one. That brings in Tommy Edmond. Wind up and the 0 1. No, that's Ball cool. 1 as he lays off below the zone. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Hey. Right hey. on the corner. 2 and 2. Bases are empty. One man out. That's lifted the other way out to left. Victorino is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Batting ninth, the pitcher, Miles Michaelis. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Miles Michaelis. First pitch on its way. 
as he comes up empty on a pitch oh, right down the middle for strike one. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Grilled right back up the middle, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Boy, Dewar, you're talking about frustrating as a pitcher. You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I've hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you can base that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that. By getting a knock, now we could have some issues here. Into the box, Ozzy Smith. And so take a look at ball one. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. The 1 0. That's a fastball ball. taken high for a ball. Two ball. I no like time. the way they're making him work out on that mound. They've taken a lot of early pitches right here. It's going to benefit them in the later innings. Now the 2 0 home. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Out to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. One left for the Cardinals. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Welcome back to Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down to the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And the pitch. Count one and zero. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. The one zero. Whoa, that's up there. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he fouls this one off. Hey. Two and two now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. The batter will be Robin Roberts as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0-1. Fouled off. And a minimum effort at bat that time as the pitch is taken for a strike three call, then he'll go back to focusing on pitching instead. Two away now. Now to the plate, Shane Victorino trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a slider swung on and missed. 
fist, and the side is retired. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order, all via the punch out. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. And now here is Lou Brock Lee looking to, to follow up the one. RBI single no from his first at bat. Move. Yeah, he's got to feel super confident Brock. right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. Trying to bunt his way on, but this has popped up. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Now batting, right fielder, Michael Lee. Digging in will be Michael Lee. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch. And that's in there for strike one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Here's the 0 1. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Brock on at first. Nobody out. Ball just three. a bit low. Tough call, two but it's 2-2. Two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Popped up. Schmidt is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. The first baseman, number 25. Mark McGuire. Next to hit, Mark McGuire worked a walk his first time up. From the stretch. And a pitch out. Ball Nothing one, no doing, play. though, and that's ball one. Runners on first with one down. A ball hey. and a strike to the Cardinals' first baseman. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. Taken. Called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One-and-two now. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Still one and two as he fouls it away. throw a breaking ball in the dirt that's the danger you have to trust your catcher but this one skips away and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it might prove to be costly here now the 2-2 hit on the ground out to short 
And that's through in the left to base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Hey, Dero, they're off to a nice 2 nothing lead right here. I think it's time to keep the pressure on and try to add on. Yeah, this guy's a quality pitcher, and you know at any moment he gets into a rhythm, he can rattle off some donuts up there. So this is a nice job by the offense, but not done yet. Into the box now, Yadier Molina has the first pitch to him, runs a bit inside for ball one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Runners on first with one down. Throw over to the bag. And a dive, but he's back in there. Set and the 1 0 pitch. Inside, ball two. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Now the 2 0 home finds the zone, strike one. You get yourself into count leverage 2-0 right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. Ball even at 2-2. Two and two. From the stretch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be field. down in the Number zone, hoping for a ground ball. So Tyler. that was an interesting pitch selection oh, to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. over to first, oh, he's in there. and he's back easily. Stepping in now, Tyler O'Neill as he oh. looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Runner back safely. And again a throw and a dive, but he's back in. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Two balls and a strike now. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Now the 2 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Two-two. Runners off for second. Fouled away. Again, another foul ball. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. Two hits here in the inning lead to a run for the Redbirds.
And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Whoa, that's down. Now here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. In now, Mike Schmidt. And he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. This is popped up. McGuire shading to his right. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting, right fielder, Bryce Harper. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch-outs will stick with you a little longer. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One one pitch. One. The count is two and one. Got him to swing under that one. It's two and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And it's fouled away. Segura, the runner at second with one away. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. A look now the pitch. Harper swings and hits it very well to right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two run home run here for Bryce Harper. Fourth home run here in the early going as the Phillies have come back to tie this one at two. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. And Andrew McCutcheon is at the plate as he watches ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. going to be troubled. He's around first, heading for two. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay. But he is in there with a triple. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit.
standing in now, JT Yomuto, as he takes a bold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. From the belt, kicks and deals, and he fouls this one off. Hit out to a second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third as they seize control here, three to two. Hey, good job of hitting right there, Debo. Runner on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right at the middle that drives in the run. Yeah, took it right back to where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners. Hit something hard up the middle, whether it be on the ground or in the air. You're going to drive the run. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Three across so far in the inning and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one, no Down strike. and away, one ball and no strikes. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. The 1 0. Hey! Fouled off. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hits are even right now at five aside. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. At the plate now, Robin Roberts batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 0 and 1. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Inside, and the hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Two and two. Here it is. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on four hits here. No errors. And two men left on base. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Phillies three and the Cardinals two. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said there is nothing prettier than frozen rope after frozen rope, and that is exactly what he's getting right now. The data says they've hit eight line drives as a team in this one, some resulting in outs, but obviously that's a good sign for them going forward. All right, Heidi, thank you. Here's Nolan Arenado. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Arenado.
He's ready. Here's the first pitch. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Victorino's there to make the catch for route number one. The batter number 19, second baseman, Tommy Edmund. One man gone for the Cardinals in the fourth, and that'll bring in Tommy Edmund. Now the first pitch. Hey. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. The pitcher, number 39, Miles Michaelis. Stepping in, Miles Michaelis. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully this A.B. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Over to first, and that retires the side. Nothing across here this half. We played four full. Philadelphia is on top, three to two. Now with the plate, Shane Victorino. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Max. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch of the A.B. now. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. One and a one. ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. Ah. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. O'Neal is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with Showtrack. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. At the plate, Gene Segura. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Line to the right side. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle the of the batter. plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. Line. He stayed focused and Hit. drove a line drive base hit. To the plate now, Mike Schmidt. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Pitch outside. The throw is there, and he's out trying to take second. That was great wheels against a great arm behind the plate, and the arm won that time. He's got one of the best catcher arms in all of baseball, and he showed right there why he's a guy you don't want to run on. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Yeah. Two and two. The two two. Struck 
struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Down quickly go the Phillies, but they still lead it three to two. Back to the top of the lineup, go. stepping we'll in, Ozzie Smith. He'll lead Let's things off that. as we begin the Ozzie. home fifth. Smith. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. That's out. The 1-0. Bouncer up the middle. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Now bad. And this Let's is not an it. easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. So now to the plate, Lou Brock. As he would look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third, and yes, sir, it's strike one. Curveballs by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Nope. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. The right fielder, number eight. Stepping up is Michael, Michael Lee, 0 for 2 Lee. on the afternoon so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Fifth inning of play here in a 3 2 ball game. Winging strike, yep. and now it's 0-2. Okay. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip it. it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We're through five here at the ballpark. Phillies on top, three to two. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Yeah, he absolutely Bryce. torched a fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no-doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First nope. pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both a lefty and a right-hander have stood up. Ball oh, two. Sorry, that's ball. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Tight with that one. Three and oh. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Here it comes on three and oh. 
grounded back up the middle. Smith is up with it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, the center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. So next to bat will be Andrew McCutcheon. Tripled and scored in his last at bat, and we'll see what he does for a follow up act here. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Out of here, into the visitors' bullpen. So a solo shot here to left center field, making it an even 250 for his career. And it's given the Phillies a 4 to 2 lead. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball out of the ballpark like he did just there. Here comes the Cardinal manager up out of the dugout, out to the mound. And he's going to make a move, as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. Gone after five and a third here, as he never really found his groove in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So please. a new pitcher is set to go now here as the right hander the Adam Wainwright gets the Number call. 50. Adam Wainwright. Next to stand in is JT Real Muto. And Dan, after Up that home run, it looks like they might be able the to catcher. end this losing streak JT. that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low ball that one, time. No it's strike. ball one. Count now a ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. Now he chops at a sinker here as this one's top foul off to the right. A one two bounces in the dirt for a ball. Ball three. Three and two now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Boy, that would look like a cinch extra base hit off the bat. But a terrific diving catch in left center field. Here comes Jimmy Rollins. He lifts it in the air to right field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. And Philadelphia has taken a 4-2 lead. Ready to go for the last go. half of the Four inning. And next to bat will be the, the first, first baseman, baseman, Mark McGuire. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now. But this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. And now a check swing, but did he hold up in time? No, swung the bat, says Clyde Washington. It's strike one. And one, ball, one and one as this one's in on the hands. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Two balls nope. and a strike the to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Dry 
drives it out to deep right center field. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Around second, he's on his way to third. The relay throw, and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how managers think it. He's in the dugout no, wishing that not. triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring it home. Into the box, Yadier Molina. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Inside ball. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. is the high outside corner one and two now some action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up the one two this is on the ground over the first Hoskins has it and they'll only be able to get the out at first here as the run is in to score from third. A simple ground ball to the infield but the run does come home from third and they cut the deficit to only one run. Next here is Tyler O'Neill. Base is empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. McCutcheon is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Now batting the third baseman Nolan Arandado. Now into the box Nolan Arenado, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch on its way. Hey. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Now here's the pitch. Oh. And he misses with it one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pops this one up. And no one will get this one. The next one two pitch. Ball well, that's out. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. We got full count. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. High in the air down the right field line. Harper has a read on it, and he makes the catch to retire the side. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies four and the Cardinals three. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that will bring up Reese Hoskins. The first base for number 17, Reese Hoskins.
Wainwright gets the sign. First pitch on its way. Clearly Ball off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Now a curveball, but he might have flown open a bit. It's one and one. Here's the pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the now game that, he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, Robin. but at least his Robin. guys are ahead. Richie Ashburn steps into the on-deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. First pitch coming from Wainwright. That average pushing up near 350 now. No home runs as of yet, and five driven in. The 1-0. Misses for the second ball. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Aye. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Starts Aye. to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Molina has it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. Digging in next, Shane Victorino flew out last time up. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. Two out, nobody on. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Lined into left center. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, you get two quick outs, D roll, then you give up a two out base hit, extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an AB. No chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at bat, every plate appearance. Nice job. Maybe a little two out lightning start. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Runner goes for second. Pitch oh, misses good. low. The throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. You don't see that very often against this guy. This guy has one of the best arms in the game, but still a successful steal of second base. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. It's amazing how quick an inning can get away from you. You're cruising. First two outs are super quick. Little single happens, and now you're down 3-0 with the chance of maybe a little two-out lightning happening. Ready with the 3-0. And, oh. and that four. misses Take ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. It was obvious when the count ran the 2-0 and oh that they were not going well, to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And in steps all-time Philly great Mike Schmidt. He's been swinging a hot bat in the series with seven base hits coming in. From the belt, the pitch. 
All one, no fight. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. The 1-0. And it's fouled away. Victorino over at second. Segura at first, two out in the inning. Hits this one hard the other way. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first is in time. The Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. The Phillies leave a couple, but they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Sam Coonrod gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 54, Sam Coonrod. Last half of the seventh here, and that will bring in Tommy Edmond. The second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Now the pitch. 1-0. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. The 1-0. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. Here comes the one, two. Ball. Bouncer to the left side. And the first base umpire says he got the foot back down too late. Now Safe then. at first. No pitcher. I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Lead off guy anytime he gets on usually creates a problem. It, you know what, Dio, it's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Anytime you get that lead off guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. Stan Musial is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2-0 on the way. like this really matters so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late now the three and two pitch rip down the first base line oh and this is past him down the line a fair ball now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. 
No foul. It's so important, Mark, to start to make quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster and do your job. Ozzie Smith is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. And the 2 1 pitch. Left side, but well fouled. Ready with the 2 and 2. Hit to third. And the throw to first will take care of him, but it comes at a cost as the tying run is in the score. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up, and that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. First pitch on its way. Lou Brock hey. is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in Whoa, for strike one. It and it's one and one to Brock. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line drive and that's a base hit in the center field. <laughs> Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, now we'll bad. take three for four the every right day of the week. Yeah, and today's right day and age, Dan, where everything's mm. a homer, a walk, or a strikeout. It's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Stepping in now, Michael oh, Lee. Down. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. pitch. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. The three one. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And he fouls this one off. He spoils another one, and we'll do it again. The next three, two. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. David Hale trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. David Hale. 
So here's the cleanup hitter, Mark McGuire. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. First delivery to him. Oh, that's out. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. Oh. A ball and no strikes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. But the tying run comes across here, so it looks like this could be a wire job. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are tied 4-4. Daniel Ponce de Leon has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Cleanup spot for the Phillies. Bryce Harper, lifetime in this matchup. Small sample, a perfect one for one. First offering on its way. Taken, but called a strike. As mentioned earlier in the broadcast, this game has the potential to result in a series sweep, but of course, with a tie game on our hands, that is no foregone conclusion. Never easy to sweep. This is one of those teeter-totter games. Back and forth, back and forth. As we're tied going into the back end of this game right now. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Into the box now. Andrew McCutcheon pitch outside the throw he's not in time pretty close but he got in there safely that's a swipe of the bag and this catcher he throws really well too so that's not easy good job there by the base runner go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out hit on the ground toward the left and there's one down now. Up next to Philadelphia, the Pepper, JT Runner at second, one away, and that brings up JT Realmuto. He's set, here it comes. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after to O'Neill. He gets there, and that's the second out. The back of the left. Short time. Jimmy Rollins. And now, Jimmy Rollins. He comes into this at bat 0 for 2 with the hit by pitch. Now here's the first offering. At the ball. Now we had runs in scoring position here with two down. Ball three. And that's too high, ball two. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. Two two and one. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. 
Philly shortstop in front of the count three and one. Not definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this line to shortstop. He's there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Philly strand one. Score remains tied at four. Bottom of the inning now, go. and that'll we'll bring in the way. veteran catcher, the catcher, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. No right hander pitch. against right hander as this is a ball one and oh. Ball Lays down. off again and it's two and oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. A 2 1 home. Line hard to center field. McCutcheon is there and he has it for the first down. I know they say sometimes that the these things field. even Number out, 27. but that was a bullet Tyler. line drive that gets caught. He oh, would have represented yeah. the go ahead run. At the plate, Tyler O'Neill. Fly ball headed for the corner and left. It has the distance, and that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, the third baseman, Nolan Aragado. The next to bat for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. Fouled off. Now the 0 1. Nope, outside. And ball, this now. ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Down in order go the Cardinals. Still all square at four apiece. The Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. Ninth right. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The wind up and the 0-1. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Fouled away. Another 0 and 2 coming. And a strikeout here yet again. As it's been a ballgame to forget thus far, four strikeouts. 
That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Alec Bone will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 28, Alec Bone. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Oh, one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Bases are empty. One man out. Too high okay. that time. And it's three and one. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck. And you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Now here it comes. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Here comes the right fielder. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The left fielder, number eight, Dane Victorino. So next to the plate for the Phils, Shane Victorino. He's one for four so far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Inside, ball one. Two out, nobody on. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. Oh. And this will be fouled away. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Three and two now. Gene Segura would be next. Into the windup. The payoff pitch. Swing and a soft liner. But little trouble handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. This game's all tied at four. Victor Neris enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Digging in, the switch hitter, Tommy Edmond. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Tommy. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hey. When you're hitting at the bottom of the order, you better be keyholed in the middle of the plate. You cannot allow pitches like that to go by. Ball one, ball one right. well below the zone. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And a splitter is over for a cold third strike as he's left shaking his head. One gone. Paul Goldschmidt will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 46, Paul Goldschmidt. First pitch on its way. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Ooh. 
One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Set. Here comes the 1 1. High and deep to right center. Harper giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter, number one. Shortstop, Ozzy. Next, it'll be Ozzy Smith. He's got one hit in four at bats. Set and the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. McCutcheon will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So they can't get that winning run home and that means free baseball here this afternoon. Tenth inning coming up and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Genesis Cabrera please. takes the mound now as he'll be the first man to pitch Arnold. here in extra innings. Number 92, Henderson. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Gene Segura, two for three with a double on his line so far. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over the third. That misses oh, wide. One ball and one strike. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The one and one pitch. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? Now that. Third baseman, Mike Schmidt. Big spot here, and it'll be Mike Schmidt. And a chance they walk in here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter's going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. The 0-1. one ball, one strike. Squared that one up just a little late. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Now the one and two pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. That's a ball. Look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. O'Neill is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. The batter, the right fielder, Bryce Harper. At the plate now is Bryce Harper. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, center cut. Didn't even give the impression to the swing. Harper behind with an 0-2 count now. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. One ball. Tried to work it two back straight. to that low inside corner, but it misses 1-2. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. 
He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Andrew McCutcheon would be next. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Count remains full. him out here for round number three so after a scoreless top half they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half a big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam a chance to win it now as we head to the bottom of the tenth still tied so now here is Lou Brock and he's got a chance to bring in the winning run the question is whether they'll even pitch to him here's the first pitch in there to strike one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Brock is sitting on 150 home runs to this point in his career. The 0-1. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Trying to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. There to make the catch is Hoskins, and that's the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number eight, Michael. So now to the plate, Michael Lee. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. the first pitch check the swing there did he go around no says the first base umpire ball one the 1-0 oh. I got a ball one strike two balls one strike and down Two and two now. <laughs> to the right side and through a base hit. Smith heads for the plate. The throw home. And they're going to walk off as winners. They've taken it here in extra innings. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish. One run finish today, 5-4 to four, the final score. Genesis Cabrera gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.
our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For Philadelphia, four runs on nine hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.